Welcome back. We have just picked up Liara, and you know what that means, it's time to go talk to the crew. Which, like I said, I forgot to do before we went on Liara's mission. I think there's only enough to talk about, like, if you do it before every major mission or after every major mission. I think you actually get everything. Oh, we have more stuff to look at here. Presley never has anything new to say, does he? Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. He does not. Um... Just some free XP and codex entries. I guess we got the one up front here. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. I like there's no way to say that he does deserve a medal. <laughs> If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Um... How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. The Normandy's probably too okay, much no, ship for that's... your average Alliance pilot. Commander. I have to go. I wasn't uh, sure see. if that was going to be um, something related to the mission or... Oh, I think I... That's Mass Effect 2, isn't it? Where he says something about the, the person you just recruited. That's not in this game. Mass Effect 2, Joker has way more dialogue. It occurred to me I always go down these stairs. I bet the other stairs feel left out. Since there's new stuff to look at, I just want to make sure there's nothing in the captain's cabin. I think I got that one. I don't think there's a new one here ever, so no. Just making sure... Dr. Caden? Commander, do you have a minute? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander, there's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. I guess so. We were kind of late to the game. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Now, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. I don't want to be too friendly with Caden. <laughs> like I said, it's very easy to accidentally romance people in this game. Um, I guess if that does happen, um, we'll just have the confrontation and then we can pick Liara anyway. But I want to uh, avoid that if possible. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were 
encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. This is kind of interesting because you'd think this conversation would be very different if Shepard is a biotic herself. But that does not really seem to be the case. Because you'd think she'd be at least somewhat familiar with all of this, having gone through some version of it, probably a much less um, terrible one, but still. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. Again, history that Shepard really should know. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bull every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Um, don't get too, uh, friendly there. Not interested. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. This was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. I understand, ma'am. I won't let you down. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? Um... I guess... yes? Been trying to avoid <laughs> entering romance territory here. Of course, but I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. It still kind of feels like I'm heading towards a romance. <laughs> oh well, if we have to shut him down the hard way, we will. Um... Mass Effect 2 was much more explicit in what uh, conversation options led to romance. And I'm still sour about the fact that as male Shepard, you cannot be friendly with Jack. You either romance her or she thinks you're an asshole. Um, anyway, I've been trying to adjust the volume to make the audio a little bit easier to mix because the gunfights are so loud and sometimes the music too but the conversation is not so I've been trying to dial this down a little it sounds like I can probably dial it down further so let's try that 
Um, no, there's nothing new here to look at. Just making sure. Let me get our little bonus equipment from the locker here. Which doesn't look like it's particularly interesting, unfortunately. But really, I really wish there was a way to replenish your grenades on the Normandy. Watch, somebody's gonna tell me there is, and I just have never known about it. You can replenish your Metagel. Don't think Chakwas ever has anything to talk about. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Which is a shame. Because, yeah, actually, I do get personal with everybody, and I do enjoy getting personal with everybody, so... Kind of lying to Kate in there. Alright, Liara has taken up station in the back of sickbay. Kind of a... I mean, it's, it looks like a storage closet with a desk. Doesn't even have a place to sleep. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. And by whatever you can, you mean just cower in the corner while we fight a Krogan Battlemaster? I've looked at that fight, by the way, in my old videos. And yeah, it's, it's changed a lot. They uh, added a bunch of cover. And clearly the Battlemaster is not as aggressive as he used to be. And all of the Geths stay in front of you as well, so you can basically just fight them from your starting position. None of which was possible in the old version. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Um, presumably she was indoctrinated. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That's disgusting. No, of course not. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Yeah, if you have any idea on how something like that could possibly evolve, I would love to hear it. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long-term. 
Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I'm assuming they use the term father to... Um, to indicate the person in the union who did not give birth if they were both Asari. Considering there's no difference in gender between them. And this is such a stupid question. You can do that. Of course you can do that. Otherwise, they would have gone extinct before they left their home world. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Isn't, um, isn't her father that bartender matriarch we meet in Mass Effect 2? I... I can't recall her name right now, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, supposed to be her dad. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The Union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Um, I guess that's it. It would be interesting if they did like a Solarian, because they live really short. Krogan wouldn't be a problem, because they actually live longer than the Asari do. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Um, I'm not sure if this option is gonna get me anywhere right now. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Uh, we've never seen an older um, Asari who's not a matriarch. Because this definitely makes it sound like it's a choice. Whereas some of the other material makes it sound like there's just three stages and the last one is matriarch and it's inevitable. Whereas here she's treating it more like a title, so not entirely sure. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past, 
The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. She's, uh, worse than me when it comes to this stuff. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I okay. should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Guess I will. Um, alright, moving on. I guess... I'm still thinking about the... the Battlemaster battle. I guess it makes sense that they, uh, like, toned that down a little bit, because it was a very hard battle. Especially because it's one that you're kind of likely to do early in the game. And it's probably the hardest battle in the game, in my opinion. But it is a lot less uh, satisfying when you get it right. This way. I think they kind of went too far the other way, because I like beat them in one attempt on hardcore. Um, makes me wonder what they did to some of the other uh, tough battles, because I, I heard they did improve, or change anyway, improve remains to be seen. The uh, the battle against Benezia on uh, Noveria as well. Um... Let's see. Let's talk to everybody first, and then we'll deal with inventory. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Just jump straight into it. Not even, uh... Some small talk. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. Wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate, me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, c -Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. It's, um... Certainly a nice... Ideal to live up to, but uh, doesn't always work, I'm afraid, in real life. If you take the high ground, sometimes all you're left with is the high ground, and your enemy has everything else. And considering we're only talking about the moral high ground and not, you know, something tangible, that's not always doable. Not that you shouldn't always strive to be better than your opponents, I guess. But sometimes life just isn't that easy, is what I'm saying. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I mean, your family's really close from what I remember, so... 
I guess that makes sense that you would feel that way. Also, you weren't there, so how would you know anything about the last mission? And I guess we're just talking about meeting uh, Liara afterwards in the sharing circle. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. What? How, why did you go there? I don't think she's used to teasing. Good natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Yep, and then we came by and ruined it. We ruined the ruins. Sure. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Oh great, here we go with actually being a bigot. I'll give her points for not being concerned about Tali. I bet that's just because... No, Garrus and Rex are also optional. I wonder what, what she says if you only recruited one of them. They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... I mean, she is being a bit paranoid, but... It is somewhat understandable, especially once we find out, I think, in Mass Effect 2 that... Um, Tali did give some of the specs of our engine to the migrant fleet. So, she's kind of right, I guess. As much as it pains me to admit it. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Well, yeah, that's right. If Commander? You... Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duties squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am? Yeah, if you, uh... Pick that option, it kind of cuts off the conversation. I don't know how much more you can say to her later. Uh, if you do that, we'll find out, I guess. I forgot that that was how it worked. Not too concerned about that. Ashley's not that interesting. Although she is more interesting than I think a lot of people give her credit for, because at least she does come around. So, we've got Saren on the run. Um, that's, that, that's one hell of a leap of uh, logic there. We've never even seen him. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him. 
So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. I wonder if Saren was already working for Sovereign at that point? Or if this happened longer ago? We don't really know. Could be entirely unrelated for all we know. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. You don't know, maybe they um, turned up dead because you left and you would have been able to save all of them. Probably not. Um, did we talk about these? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any... We're too spread out. None of us are interested yeah. in staying in our own system. So long, Rex. Shepard. That is the same old story. I kind of thought so. Just wanted to check. Check in with Tolly. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? <laughs> it's cute that um, Adams is nice to her. I know Tolly and Garrus get together if you don't romance either one of them, but I ship Adams and Tolly. The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Yeah, you never really know what makes your home special until you've been elsewhere for an extended period of time. As someone who has lived in uh, four countries now, I can definitely sympathize with that. And for those keeping track, I was born in the Netherlands, lived in Japan for six years, then lived in the UK for three months, and have now been in the US for almost um, eight years. Well, more like seven and a half, but whatever. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. Um, I guess that's possible, but considering how the Quarians tend to be treated, they would have to be lucky to find uh, a place that would accept them. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. True. You know I'd like to go home again. I can't right now. 
at least, you know, if I did, they'd make me quarantine for two weeks. Which kind of defeats the point of um, a vacation. And then there's the question of whether or not they'd let me come back to the US. So, yeah. I should go. See you later. Plus, the only direct flight from Seattle to Amsterdam, which was a Delta flight, is um, no longer um, being operated. So that's annoying, because I do not like transfers. Alright, um, I'm going to square away my inventory before we move on. And I will cut that out again. Alright. Got that taken care of. I'm pretty close to being able to afford the Spectre Pistol. <laughs> which uh, is nice, and I don't have to get to a million credits before I can buy those. Although I was kind of used to that, because that is true as soon as you've unlocked the uh, rich achievement in the original. And that stays that way for future playthroughs. So that was true in my Let's Play as well, because I already had that achievement. Not that it's a hard achievement to get if you um, do all the side quests. Let's see, in my original Let's Play, I went back to the Citadel at this point. And that's not really what I feel like doing right now. Uh, we have these two. I actually did Noveria first in the original. I kind of thought I did Pharaohs first. But I did not. Um, so I thought I did Ferris first and thought, oh, well, let's do no Noveria first this time. But I actually did Noveria first last time. I might still have to do that because I don't want to go to Pharaohs until I have all of my um, charm points available because I missed out on that last time and I will not do that again. Last time I missed out on it just because I didn't put the point there. I had it available, but I didn't actually assign it, which was dumb. See what else we have. Um, too much junk, that's what we have. <laughs> Alright, this is a speak to Kohoku, that's going back to the Citadel. We have a um, missing survey team in Hades Gamma. And that's also where one of the hostile takeover ones is. For Helena's crime lords. Yeah, the Han system of the Gemini Sigma cluster and the Dis system of the Hades Gamma cluster. Um, these are all the finding stuff missions. Not interesting to look at right now. And we have this one that's just back to the Citadel. So we don't have an awful lot of choice right now. If we just go by what we have in the... The... Uh, journal. Uh, some of this stuff we're gonna get from going back to the Citadel. Uh, whatever. Let's do... Um, Let's go do, uh, Helena Blake, I guess, which is, um, well, let's go to Gemini Sigma first. Why not? Um, I need to finish scanning this system, of course. Fortunately, is not as much of a chore as it is in Mass Effect 2. Yeah, I hate the probing in Mass Effect 2. It is such a pointless little mini game. I think there was something in the other asteroid belt, so I. Oh no, there is something here too. I don't know if there's always only in one, or sometimes maybe not, who knows. All 
right. Some nitrogen. Because that's rare. Um, that should be... Yeah, it's for here. Yeah, I much prefer that driving around in a Mako as much as the Mako is hard to control, especially in the original. Much prefer that over um, anything else. We're done here. Over the... Over the... Uh, I guess we could do Asteroid X57, but uh, that's a hard mission. And you get really good equipment if you do that later. So... Uh, I won't yet. Anyway, um, scan scanning's boring, that's the point. We're going to Gemini Sigma. Need to go to Han. Is there anything in Ming? Uh, according to my original Let's Play notes, there is a mission there that's random Commander, exploration. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. By that I mean that this is a mission that um, you can only find out about by going to the system. There's no way to find out about it beforehand through a Citadel news report or a terminal you can hack or anything like that. Or somebody to talk to. And... Um, I had all of that written down for the original Let's Play because I wanted to make sure that the missions you could find out, out find out about in advance that I actually did find out about them in advance before uh, um, before going uh, to do them because you can even if you haven't heard the news report you can still do them if you go to them on the map but then you'll never hear the news report which is kind of uh, not what I wanted to do originally. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Oh, this is not about this system. This is this is Luna. This is the specialization mission. Wow, that's I'm getting that one early. I forget what level you need to be to get that. Is it 20 or something in the original system? I'm not sure. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Um... All right, well, that gives us another thing to do, I guess, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know when I want to do that, because that's a pretty tough one. But it's an interesting one to do, especially because, you know, specialization, you get extra powers and stuff. Um, do you get extra powers, or is it just a matter of improving certain powers. I don't remember exactly how this works. But it is worth doing, anyway. Alright, here we have the uh, Worthington. Which is for the um, Lost Freighter mission. Like I said, there's nothing you can find out about it beforehand. We just need to go on board and find out what happened. Um, 
I do not remember this mission at all. I don't know what we're going to face. Um, let's take Liara and um, Tali in case we need anything to unlock or in case there's synthetics to fight. And, of course, I'm taking Liara because we're new, which means we don't have any combat strength, but, yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Leotics are so overpowered anyway. Um, it does mean we need to level up Liara. We're level 11 right now, so that would have been 22 in the original. Maybe 23, depending on where the original cutover point was. Oh yeah, bizarrely, Liara does have electronics. Um... What I want, of course, is lift and singularity, because those are my crowd control things. It's what I want for myself, it's what I want for Liara as well. So I'm putting points there. Um, Tali, does she not have first aid? Oh, she does, but it's not unlocked. Um, so I definitely want to put some points there, because otherwise Metagel is useless. I'm not putting points in electronics for her. Um, let's do some Asari Scientist. And then some more. Eh, yeah, why not? Advanced Singularity and Advanced Lift. And then the rest you can put in. Um, barrier and more sorry, scientist. Alright. She's not quite an adept because of this electronics thing here, but she basically is. She doesn't have any powers that I don't, does she? No. Alright, Tali, you have seven points. We're gonna give you... Master Overload, which also gives us all of the electronic stuff. Um, I want points in hacking for when I do the... Or when I eventually do the uh, the moon mission, because that's awesome. That works really well there. I really need better Omni tools. Or uh, biotic amps. I haven't found any yet. I have like one. I have I have a slightly better amp, and that's it. Um. So yeah, let's do point in hacking. Let's do two points in basic armor. To do the trick, everybody already has equipment. Oh, what, what am I doing? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, everybody is using the right weapons. And my, my quick slots are empty. How did that happen? That's a glitch. Um, alright, so we're doing this again, for the millionth time. I don't know, um... Throw, lift, singularity, no, warp, marksman, shield boost, barrier, unity. And save. Now stay there. Oh, I accidentally used that. So I won't need it during the fight. Looks like this vessel was abandoned. Most of the systems seem to be disabled. Only basic life support appears to be functioning. How can you tell that from this room? Because I sure can't. Um, sniper rifle. Well, that's interesting for me, because I do use them on occasion. That's a good one. I'll take it. Mm 
medium Turian armor. I'd like some better armor for Liara as well. She has nothing right now. Better armor for Tali and Gar and Rex would also be nice. But that's rare to find. Maybe that is a reason to go back to the Citadel, because sometimes you can buy those at the shops there. We'll see if I want to do that first. I don't remember what this mission is. Um, before what was we do, that? is there someone else on this ship? Before we uh, do another major mission, is this like Ragni or something? Or husks? Somebody set that trap. The whole place could be wired. Oh, it's, contact, I think this is on the way out. Aren't you facing stuff on the way out here? Oh. Oh. That's that. That was smart. Great job, guys. All clear. I guess you're poisoned from those explosions. What? That was on the other side of the wall. Just being careful. Because I don't remember if they're useful on the way back, but I'm going to assume no. Oh, it's it's the life support one. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Um... Yeah, I was sure I was going to make that. That worked. Still nothing useful. Um, let's do the logs before we deal with the guy. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... <laughs> Yeah, Julia went crazy because he didn't want uh, Jacob taken off of life support. That was easy. Um... Kessler 4 pistol is not better than mine. Is it better than Bayara's? No. Okay, we, get, we got some shotguns. Katana 4 seems worth it. But it's all weapons. I don't want weapons. I want amps and mods and you know useful stuff I want uh, particularly want omni tools you don't have any useful omni tools and they give you such a nice cooldown bonus if you get good ones Uh, wait, I forgot to listen to the 
crew logs on this side. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't! Look I out! Trouble. Oh, I forgot she showed up before. I thought she only showed up after, uh... Dealing with, uh... Uh, Jacob, but I guess she shows up after you do all three rooms. Um, let's get rid of her shields. Let's try and lift her and warp her. Lost shield. Oh, all right. We physicked her to death. So I was about to wonder if, you know, you, uh, if you leave him alive if Julia doesn't attack you, but I guess that's not something to worry about. Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I do not see any brain activity on the readouts. He is dead. This body is just an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It is your decision, Shepard. But perhaps we should wait until we have more information before we do anything. We already have all the information. And yeah, he is brain dead, so there's literally no point to this. So... I will... turn it off like I did last time. That was the compassionate thing to do, Shepard. Now, if this were Dragon Age, that would have, like, improved your liking of me. I played Dragon Age a little. I never finished it, though. Combat was kind of tedious. <laughs> and, uh... That, like, the, the, the way your squad mates react to what you do is kind of annoying at times. You want a romance... What's her name? Morgan? Claudia Black, anyway. But still want to play a good guy. You basically can never take her on missions because she will hate you if you do good things in front of her. I'm just going the long way around to make... Uh, um, to make sure there's no more crates and stuff. Doesn't look like it. That was, uh... Clear. Yeah, this is not the layout where you can vault stuff. Um... Looks like there's nothing else here. Where's the exit? Um, over this side, I think. Yes. Um, all right, let's do what we actually came here to do. Which is um, any other system, but let's survey here first, some titanium. Asteroid belt, there has to be. Come on, where are you hiding? I guess there's nothing. Unless I'm just being dumb. 
This isn't the game where you can see it if they're... Like where they blink, do they? I don't think so. Anyway, it doesn't look like there's anything here then. One last time. No. And a League of Moan medallion. Alright, moving on to Han. Where we should find Helena Blake, or one of the crime lords anyway, not her herself just yet. The matriarch's writings. Nothing. And this is where we can land. Um, who to take? Well, I didn't get to do much last time, so I'm was enjoying that team, and I kind of want to see how they're how they do in combat. Start there. I guess? Yes. We're gonna start there. That does not look like a mummified Solarian. Unless he's in the box. remember if there was an easy way up there, but with the thrusters, every way is an easy way up. wanting to hit shift for the zooming, which is the wrong button. Where's the door? There's the door. It doesn't really look like there's a an easy way up here. Alright, no, that's the wrong button. Also the wrong button. I'm still getting four points. I think that ends at level 15, because it would normally end at level 30. I think the double points. Um, let's do some barrier. And lift and singularity. What my barrier is, I forget to use it when I need to. All right, let's see what we're facing here. Gel. Don't need that. Grenades would be nice. 
And of course, Omni Tools and Biotic Amps. Uh, Alright. These can be pretty annoying. You're the guy I don't want to meet uh, to rush me. So let's start out by damage. And then kill him while he's in the air. Alright, that works. Just need to make sure they don't do that. Which they do, so. Um, you may use Carnage. And Lift. Alright. Yes, unlike my squad mates, I know how to use line of sight. Yara, do you mind? Target eliminated. Um, well, she did mind, but it's fine, because it's totally too care of it, I think. He's hiding. I will destroy you. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Oh, Mr. Crime Boss, eh? There's another guy much closer though. Um, we're being teched to death. Oh, I guess the guy that was closer is dead. You're the one who's using the powers, aren't you? We can't really do much because we were sabotaged. You might not standing in my way. Who did that? Um. Okay, one shot kill from the sniper. That I was doing so well. That was nicely effective. We're doing better. Let's stay in cover here so I do not get. Uh... Why did Liara Singularity seem to have so much more effect than mine? Is she just better biotic than me, or what? No, it's just these enemies. Alright. This was actually surprisingly powerful. I may have made a mistake in the original Let's Play going with assault rifles instead. Where is this guy? 
And are you the one-shot sniper? He's hiding. Can I lift you out of hiding? No, that was extremely ineffective. Now I should be able to do that. Crime Lord defeated. Alrighty. Good for us. It's, um... Uh, you know, are you beginning to see why I'm saying why Alex are so overpowered? Because if it weren't for that cheap shot, I wouldn't have any any problems with this fight. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, wet work hit. That might actually contain biotic abs. Please be some good. Um. Pistols are useless. They're like always trade up trade offs unless you're like cooldown bonus is pretty nice, I guess. I kind of don't like these trade offs. You'd get way more duration. Well, Let's try the duration one on me and Liara since she has nothing. Um, she can get the cooldown bonus one. Still not really as good as I would want. And an Omni tool. Now we're talking. That's for Tali, obviously. Just a cooldown bonus, no shield or met recharge. Uh, let's try it. It's not like we're getting anything better. High Explosive 4. Sure. That is not what I intended to do. Um, Raiko 4. I remember Raiko being good. Eh, pretty good. Sure, we'll take it. Any better rounds? That's fine. Metagel, which I didn't need. And I guess that's it. All right, we're back on the Normandy. And I think we'll continue in the next video.